so careless, Mira. How could you? I, I didn't know it was finished. That's the carelessness I'm talking about. How couldn't you know? You should know. This is what you've used virtually all your life. You should know when it's finishing. Mom, you're healing. Yes, I am yelling because I am mad, okay? Do you know what would have happened if I was not there yesterday? What if you were by yourself? Look, henceforth, you'll be checking your inhaler every hour, and you'll be carrying two anywhere you go, two of it all the time. Am I making myself clear? Am I making myself clear? Yes. Now, go inside and get your bag. Let's leave. Hurry up. We do this all the time, all the time. Always, oh God, this girl. Hey, baby girl. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled out to you where I did earlier. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it. It's fine, Mom. <laughs> I understand. We're just scared. I get scared when you have attacks like that, honestly. Mom, nothing will happen to me. Of course, nothing will happen to you. But you need to be very, very careful, okay? Okay, Mom. Don't get Mommy worried next time. Yes. Hope you have your inhaler in there. Yes, Mom. Okay. okay. Kiss, kiss, put it here. Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you too. seeing tonight right we talked about this mom come on daniel you're a very young handsome guy and you're not supposed to be going through the stress i only want to show you how much i love you i will not sleep with you i know you're saying you're sleeping with me i only want you to be my boy it's the same thing you're a married woman i'm not going to have an affair with you you're somebody's wife what do you think your husband is going to say about this? I he's going to tell him. How will he find out? Well, I don't care how he finds out. Nothing in this life is going to make me have an affair with you. Okay, sorry. Good day. Have a good day, mom. on your face mom yeah my back hurts work was so stressful oh my god have you had anything to eat mm, yes i microwaved the spaghetti okay mm. so now you go freshen up while i microwave yours oh thank you sweetheart oh, i'm without you Nothing. All right. Okay, okay. Mm. Mm. My back. Ouch. Mm. Are you doing this? Just come and lie down. Let me massage you. Really? Since when did you become a masseuse? Since when my mommy complained of body ache. So, just come and lie down before I change my mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lie down. Okay, so how much am I expected to pay for the services? Well, one million dollars. What? Does the massage include eternal life? You can never tell. Oh, okay. Um, but is this working? You don't trust your service? I do. It's just that I, I need a verification from my client. Okay, I think it's working. You think? Mm -hmm. 
You're a bad client. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you should do it a little bit harder. Oh, the excess is to pain you. Wow. Okay, it's working right now. Definitely it's working. You're the best masseuse in the world. Wow. <laughs> Are you saying the truth? I am. You're the best. I don't believe you. <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. Hope you slept well. I'm fine. I can see that. So, how about your body ache? <sighs> um, Does it still hurt? A little bit, but I still feel a bit of discomfort. But I think I'll be fine. Don't I will. worry, I have a solution. You do? How oh, could that be? Let's go. Remember, you have an early hearing this morning. That's true. So, can I have your phone? And uh, what do you want my phone for? You'll see. Okay, let's go. Mm. Um, good day. I'm a Mesua. I have um, an appointment here. You are a what? A Mesua. Mesua? You did say Suya? I do massage. And I have an appointment here. You do massage? Yes, I... Those people where they touch women, touch people up and down. For Baba, please. So what thing concerns this house concern massage? Well, I have an appointment with one um, barista. Barrister Zara Okoye. Eh? Hey, hey! Wait, wait. So, my madam, but your body don't be hungry and now go carry you come. Man, go bring you come. Hmm? Okay. I don't know, but she booked an appointment with my agency. She didn't call me directly. She booked with the agency and they sent me here. Ah! You see? You see, women? Something go hungry, then they go. I know. They pretend. You go there like this, you know, go ever follow man. No man go find and come from here to here. See him now. You don't fool. Thank you, don't fool. Now you don't go carry man. Thank you, don't fool. Now you don't go carry man. Go. Go and do your work. Go happy toy. Happy, 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 happy. Go. Hey! We went now, so then go fool and fool tank. They go carry him. They pretend they waka waka. Small touch now. Pia, pia, pia. You go throw everything. You go wham. Sharp, sharp. Your person. Come on. Come in. Good evening, man. I'm here to see Barrister Zara Okoye. What for? She booked a session with us. I I work only from the office. I don't work from home. Oh no. <laughs> I'm a masseur. Yeah, from Rondon Spa. A masseur? A young man, are you sure you are the right address? Yes. This is the address that booked us. Wait here. What did I do this time? There's a young man out there from Random Spa. He said I booked a massage session with them. Wait, they sent a man? Okay, wait, hold on. When did you do this? In the morning? When I borrowed your phone on our way out. 
So you took my phone and booked a session without my permission. After my efforts last night, and you still complained of body ache. So the best I could do was to book a session for you with a professional machine. How did you get the money to do that? Well, they pay after service. And I didn't know it was going to be a guy. Well, they did send a guy, so you have to go clean up the mess with me. Let's go. Hurry up. You book a session without letting me know. Now, go tell him what you did. Let's go. Hi. Good evening. Um, <clears throat> this arrangement, all of it, is a mistake. Oh, this is the wrong address. No, 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 it, it's not the wrong address. I didn't do the booking, she did. Oh, I see. Yeah, because she thinks I need a body massage because I've been complaining of body pains lately. That's thoughtful of her. You see? Quiet. I'm sorry I have to cancel. I, I don't need the session. Well, or maybe you could just have the massage since it's already here. That's true. I'm sorry, I, I, like I said earlier, I have to, I'm sorry, I, I want to cancel, I don't need it. Send me your account details so I can take care of any inconvenience. The company account is on the website, as well as the charges for a cancelled session. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> hey! Now listen, young woman, the next time you try to pull this kind of stunt on me, you will be punished severely. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sweetheart. You're not sleeping yet? Yes. Why? Wanted to apologize for earlier. It's okay. I just wanted to help. I know. And I said it's okay. Hmm? Sure. Of course I'm sure. Come here. I understand what you're trying to do. You feel so bad for mommy. I want mommy to feel good. Okay? I understand it. You work so much. That's why anytime you complain of stress, I feel bad. I said I am fine. It's work. I work hard for you. I know. That's why I want to help. Mira, and I said I'm okay. You, you're helping me already by being who you are. Hmm? So relax your little head. Mommy, it's fine. What I want you to do right now is go to bed because we have an early day tomorrow. Mommy has an early hearing. Okay. Good night. Good night. Put it here. Love you. Love you too. <gasps> Brenda. Hello, sis. Yeah, she's fine. I have an early day tomorrow. Of course, she'll be going with me. All right, bye. I need to run off. You know I have an early day today, right? So Auntie Breda is gonna come be with you till I come back, okay? Okay. Give me some love. Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you too. See you. Welcome. 
John, how are you? I am fine, ma. And you? I'm okay. Good. Um, my sister is not home, right? At all. She's not around. Okay, I'm expecting someone. When he comes, allow him in. Eh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, is he your guy, Kevin? How is that your business? I won't I warn you to mind your business. Yeah, sorry, ma. Sorry. sorry for yourself. Sorry. You don't say anything where you carry and join body. Anytime where you carry your guy, Kevin. Yeah, but if they go, they always find me something for from boot. John, open the gate. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Okay, I have a session and I'm running late already. You have a session? Yes. Why you not go run late? No, why you, tell me why you not go run late? Before now, my madam, smarty, you, you can't press my madam. Now the sister. Because I hear say somebody's looking for me and you are here. When I don't get a booth on the side, two sisters, they don't tell you say you cannot see two sisters nakedness at once. You, nothing they pay you for I, nothing. I can come out here now. Make a fine key lock up. Say, please, let's take it. Come in. Come in. Hello, Daniel. What are you doing here? Is that how you talk to your client? Well, this is my younger sister's house. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Imagine what happens if I pick up my phone and call your agency to tell them that you walked out on a top client like me. That will cost you your job, you know. What do you want from me, Brenda? You called me by my name for the first time. We're going somewhere. You know what I want, Daniel. I want you. I can imagine how it's going to feel when you touch me intentionally. Well, that's never going to happen. <laughs> there it goes again. I believe you know I get whatever I want. Not this time, Brenda. If I had known you were the one that called me, I wouldn't have come here. <laughs> I only came here because I thought it was Zara that called. How did you know my sister? Actually, I'm still struggling with the idea that both of you are sisters. <laughs> How is that supposed to mean? You guys are nothing alike. Hmm. Hello, baby. Yes, I'm home. The Range River. In two hours. All right, you can come. That's my husband. He's sending someone home to pick up one of his cars. So, Daniel, you see, I have limited time. One hour is enough to have any kind of fun. This is the last time I'm going to say this. <laughs> Nothing in this life is going to ever happen between the both of us. You either accept me and every good thing that comes with it or you kiss your job goodbye. <laughs> he didn't employ me. How can you sack me? <laughs> That's what you think. Hmm? I hope you'll be ready to face the consequence 
of your action. Get up, Danny. reach out to Brenda earlier before I left. So what time did she get here? A little while after you left. Oh, thank God. I thought she was going to get here a bit late. But she didn't see me. What do you mean she didn't see you? She came here for something else. I'm confused. What are you talking about? She invited the monsieur that came yesterday. What? The same one you called for me? Ugh, oh, Brenda. Why would she book a session in my house? What happened to our own house? She didn't call me for a massage section. What? I can imagine how it's going to feel when you touch me intentionally. Well, that's never going to happen. <laughs> there it goes again. I believe you know I get whatever I want. Not this time, Brenda. If I had known you were the one that called me, I wouldn't have come here. <laughs> I only came here because I thought it was Zara that called. How did you know my sister? Actually, I'm still struggling with the idea that both of you are sisters. <laughs> this is the last time I'm going to say this. <laughs> Nothing in this life is going to ever happen between the both of us. Hmm. Brenda will never change. And that wasn't all. What again? Your door spoiled. My door? How did that happen? I had a severe attack earlier. Oh my god, are you okay? Are you sure? Mira, why would you have a severe attack? Your inhaler is not finished. I forgot it in your room last night. Why do you always do this? Why? I'm sorry, Mom. You won't kill me, all. You won't. I'm sorry, Mom. That's what you always say. So how did my dog get spoiled? Mm, he broke it and got me the inhaler. John? No, the monsieur. Okay, wait, wait, I'm, I'm confused. How did that happen? How? He came to take back his phone and he saw me on the floor, struggling. Thank you, sir. It's okay. You should rest, okay? I actually came to, to get my phone. So, get to 
rest, okay? So I told him where it was, then he got it from me. Brenda, what is wrong with you? What are you talking about? How dare you bring a man into my house? That foolish kids, man. John didn't tell me anything. Mira did. She saw you both. Is it the fact that I brought a man into your house that is pissing you off or it's because it's Daniel? What are you talking about? <laughs> I know you two have met and no woman will see him and not desire to have him. I am not a pervert like you. Quit this lifestyle of yours. I have warned you before and I'm warning you again. Quit this lifestyle if you don't want to lose your marriage. Can we go? I'm ready. Oh. So, Mom. So, have you called the monsieur about yesterday? No, I haven't. But why? He literally saved my life yesterday. I don't know why I don't have his number. Maybe you can ask the spa for his number. Okay, I will do that. Can we do that when no. we come back? No, we have to do it now. Neva. Oh, okay. Hello, this is Miss Zara. I had a booking from your spa two days ago. Not really, but yeah, I had a booking. Someone was sent to me. I really need to speak to the master that was sent to my house. It's really important. And he you had a booking just yesterday from my sister. He was sent to my house as well. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, but I really need to talk to him. Is there any way I could have his direct number or address or anything that I could use in getting across to him? Okay, so? that'll be fine. I'll be expecting his number. Thank you. So? They said he no longer works there. They said they were going to send the number. Oh, they just did. Call him. Mira, can't we do this later? No. Huh. Okay. We know we can call him like much later, right? No. Hello. Hello. This is Barrister Zara. Good morning, ma'am. How's your daughter? She's very well. She told me how you saved her life yesterday, and I'm calling to say thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know what would have happened if someone like you was not around at the time. Thank you so much. I'm glad she's all right. So we, I, we called, I just spoke to the spa, and they said you no longer work there. Yes. I got fired yesterday when I got back. Oh, my. I'm so sorry about that. But why, though? Well, a client sent a negative report about me. Brenda? Um, oh, please, is it possible you come by my house this evening? We need to talk. I mean, if that's okay by you. All right. All right, I'll be expecting you. Thank you. Oh, so what happened? Can we talk about that later, young lady? We need to go, we're running late, okay? Oh, let's go. Thank you. 
So you got fired because of my auntie. Yes. She said some not so cool stuff about me to my boss. So they decided to leave me off. I'm really sorry about my sister. She can be overly excited most times. She's a handful. I'm sorry. You guys are blood sisters. Sadly. <laughs> the both of you are like two sides of a coin. <laughs> we get that a lot from when we were kids. But I'm, I'm truly sorry. About your door. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I mean, you had to do what you had to do. I invited you here personally to say thank you for what you did for my daughter. I am truly, truly grateful. Thank you so much. And also to apologize on behalf of my sister. I'm sorry. Please. It's fine. So dinner is almost ready and I hope you can join us. Right, Mira? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the dinner. It was really tasty. You're welcome. My mom is the best cook. <laughs> <laughs> well, your mom is good, but I think I'm better. Nobody is better than my mom. <laughs> now we'll never know. <laughs> right? Mm. You won't. <laughs> I can drop you off. Ah, don't worry. My hotel is just around the corner. Hotel? Yes. I, um, I used to stay at the staff quarters before when I moved into town box. They asked me to vacate the place when I got sacked. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's fine. These things happen. I wish I could help. Hmm. Do anything. Maybe he can move in with us. At least we still have two spare rooms empty. Mira. <sighs> Thanks for your generosity, Mira. But I'm good. Okay? Good night. Have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Yeah. Mom, you should have asked him to stay. Oh, you heard him. He said he's fine. That is because you weren't the one who asked. Hmm. This girl. He said he's fine. Huh. Hey, baby girl. You're doing your homework? Yeah, Mom. I see. <clears throat> Mira. Yes, Mom? I want to talk to you about something. About what you said earlier. Are you really serious about Daniel staying with us? 100% sure. Really? You sure about that? Yes. So you'll be comfortable with him staying in this house with us? Mm, I think he's a nice person. Well, I agree with you. I mean, any man that can resist Brenda must be a very disciplined person. I agree with you. Okay, I'll give him a call then. Mom, call now. Really? Yes, Mom. We can call him tomorrow, okay? No, or I'll change my mind. Why do you always do this? Okay, I'll call him. Gosh, this girl. Why do you always do this? I'm calling him. Hello, Zara. I hope Mira is fine. Yeah, she's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> My mom said you can come stay. What? Yeah, I figured since you don't have a job at the moment, paying for a hotel will be financially daunting on you, so why not? And we have two spare rooms, fully air conditioned. Say yes, Uncle Dan. Are you 
you sure about this, Zara? Um, yes. I don't know. I mean, Mira seems to like you a lot. And when she gets like this, I'm helpless. All right, then. When can I move in? This night. <laughs> don't mind her. Take your time. I have paid for a hotel today already, so I will just stay here tonight and come over in the morning tomorrow. Is that okay? Yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. fine. Yes, Uncle Dan. See you tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Zara. You should be thanking Mira, not me. Of course. Thank you, Mira. You're welcome, Uncle Dan. Bye. Bye. Mm. Mira, things you make me do. Go finish up your homework. Okay. Here. It's not to be. Oh, it's bigger than my hotel room. Oh, come on. It's the least I could do. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah. So, um, you be going to pick Mira anytime soon? Yeah, I'll, I'll go pick her up, like, right now. Hey, do you want me to come with you? No, 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 no. I, um, do you want me to dish it out for you if I do? Uh, no, I'll eat when you come back. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, it's uh, okay. Welcome. Thank you. see you, but thought you were unpacking. Well, you could have come help me, you know. That's true. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Eat your food, Mira. Table manners. Where? Where are you going to? I will eat in my room. Thank you for the food. Mom, you have asked him to join us. He's an adult, okay? Not a child. Ew. Please stop talking. Nervous every night before a serious hearing. How long have you been practicing? Seven years. And you're still nervous. <laughs> I know, right? It's so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's okay to feel the way you feel. Okay. So why are you not sleeping? Well, I couldn't sleep as well. I was thinking about for me. So what's your plan now that you no longer have a job? Well, what I thought about was to run an online ad so I could see if I could get some customers I will probably be able to go do home service for. Hmm. That sounds good. I could also reach out to your old clients and tell them you don't work at the spa anymore. So they don't go there looking for you. You can ask them to come here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure about that? I am. I'm sure. As long as you're not doing anything in my living room. I mean, you have a room to yourself. You can do whatever you want in there as long as it doesn't affect my daughter and I. It's fine. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just do the online ad and tell them to come here. But then I wouldn't want to poach Rondong Spa's clients. It's against the profession to poach your clients from another company. It's not professional. Hmm. Coming from 
someone that was laid off. I mean, this company fired you over an allegation from a client without proper investigation or hearing from you. And yet, you won't poach their clients. That's, that's very noble. I'm impressed. Oh, it's the right thing to do. And about your anxiety, let me fix you something to drink. Mr. John, Ma? were you the one that washed the car? <laughs> Before, Uncle. You washed my car. <laughs> Mother, which one did I wash your car? Why are you the doubter? <laughs> Mr. John, since when did you start washing my car without me reminding you like 100 times? Since when? <laughs> since they change, Sha. Yeah. Since they change. So you mean to tell me that you washed this car? <laughs> Mother, why did that say? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you're saying you washed the car, Mr. John? Eh? <laughs> Madam, you can't ask me now. What is it? Wow, wonders will never cease. Mr. John washed my car. Well, I guess he washed it. You know, you see the data? He said, I guess he did. I washed your car. OK. No. I'm going to John. John. I'm going to I'm going to What can be that? Why did you lie that you were the one that washed the car this morning? <laughs> that one. You see me. All this car washing, all these things. It's not my thing. It's not my thing at all. I'm just forcing myself to do it. Meanwhile, you see. Just to wake up in the morning, fiam, I know they like him. Silly mama, man will not rest. You just wake up, fiam. It's not my thing, too. But you see, madam, madam like it. Early morning, fiam, she's up, she's going. Up and going immediately. Don't like it. But it's your job. You should be able to do it diligently. Mm. Okay. No, well, I saw the way you were doing your own job diligently before. That's why they suck you. And you were diligent enough. Diligent. John, I did not come here to argue with you. I just came to tell you that I do not like what you did. You made me do something that I do not like to do. You made me lie. <laughs> hey. Hey. Over Sabi. See, 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 man. Fool, man. Over Sabi. Just don't make me lie again. No, don't wash the car again. You be car wash. You open car wash. Who send you? Over Sabi. See you now. All these fake fine boys, see them. Fine boy, we no get shish. All the fine boys, we no make them. No Vasabi, they kill them. Man, go wake up like this, begin form, 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 make it be saying I ain't fine, pass everybody. Shish, no go enter your pocket. And the main beauty that here in the day, beauty in your pocket. Oba no feli feli. Oba no feli feli, be a man, I'll show you no go, go. I have a massage session with Dan. Massage session? Yes. For here? Yes. <laughs> Wait, you, you need the massage and I Dan tell you to come here. I don't understand. Is that not what he does? Go. This house, no be brothel or motel. This boy don't turn this place to now. You see? Different, different women, women now. Inside. They drag them, go inside. Give them swan allow like this, then go use their hand. Collect allowance. Foolish for poor people. No, they give them opportunity. I'm very sorry, I don't have an office yet. Ah, this place is so perfect. Okay, so let's begin. Yes. Hello. Um, not really. Is there a problem?
problem. Oh, okay, so you want me to help you go pick her up? Okay, okay. Just send me the address, okay? Um, can I briefly just step out for half an hour? A friend wants me to help her pick her child from school. Please don't exceed 30 minutes. Yeah, promise. So we'll just resume when I come back. So I'll be here. Yes, okay. yes. Just tell me the easy. Just wait. I'll be right back. School today. School was fine. Mm. School was fine. Uh, Mr. Mesuya, why you not tell me say you won't go career? You didn't tell me that you are going to pick her. No flex. Don't be angry. I forget. I mean, I foretell you now so that you go give me your car, make I drive, use go pick her. I forget. Or oh, you forgive me taxi money, right? <laughs> Savage. Let's go, Joe. You come, you say. <laughs> you see yourself. When I see total embarrassment, I see her. You are getting on my now. You are even coming close to my nose, but I could punch you one day. You go see. Good dad. Why were you being savage to Uncle John? Well, he asked a dumb question. I was only returning the favor. But you were defending him earlier. How? Mom and I know you were lying the time you said you went to the one who watched in the car. You know what? Go and change. All right, they come out for your lunch. She's a very smart girl. Go. I told you I'm a better cook than your mom. So I will let you be the judge of that. Your mom is better than my mom. Ah, I'm sure you won't be saying that by the time I come back. Where are you going to? My room. I had some work before your mom told me to come get you. Okay. Alright. Enjoy. trying to tell me that since you started this job, you've not had anything to do with your clients. No. The only time I touch them is when I massage them, that's all. I try to be very professional. Uh, but I want to know. Madam, please, don't touch me. I beg you. Please. The sight of you keeps me tripping for you. I want to know. Madam, can you? Please just focus on having your massage. Ma'am, please don't touch me. I said don't touch me. And who the hell is this? Mira, don't tell me you're done with your food. Well, it was very delicious, so I finished it in no time. <sighs> you, you didn't tell me you had a child. How is that supposed to be part of my job description? I'm done with this. Oh, well, fine. As long as you know I don't do refunds. Just keep it. Fine. 
Thanks for doing business with us. Uncle Dan, your work is very hard. You've seen it. So, how's the food? Sadly, yours is tastier than mom's. <laughs> I told you. So, do you want to have some more? Let's go have some more. Uh, madam, please, when you're done, you can just come out, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. No, she isn't. I am. It will really help, you know. But I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. No, you ain't. You've been complaining since, like, for a month now. Mira, I said I'm good. But is it the fee you're worried about? You know you don't have to worry. Of course you know I can afford it. I just don't want, okay? I'm good, I'll be fine. All right. You won't. I will. Yes, come in. I saw some food stuff in the store. Oh yes, I I did some little shopping. I noticed we were out of food stuff, so I decided to restock. You know you didn't have to, right? Why? I mean, I live here and I also eat from that same kitchen. So it's only right that I help in every little way that I can. But you're not working yet. Oh, but I am. I've been doing some sessions here and really it's been good. I've been able to save up a little. Very soon I'll be able to get my place. I see. But I can comfortably take care of the home, this house, and you as well. I can feed you, so concentrate on saving your money. If you're not going to allow me support, you need to have to start paying for some things in here, including rent. Oh, okay. That's the way I was raised. That's fine. You win. Still in bed? Yes, baby. I'm sorry I won't be able to drop you off at school today. What's wrong? I feel so tired and my body aches. I I'm having a cold. Have you taken any medication? Not yet. Well, I'll be fine, okay? I'll be good. Where's Daniel? Haven't seen him. Okay, please go to his room and see if he's there. Tell him that I said he should please help take you to school. All right, Mom, but you really need to book a session with him. Well, Mira. Good morning. I thought you would have left for school already by now. Well, mommy is not well. And she asked if you could take me to school. Okay, uh, let me get the key.
how do you feel? Same way I've been feeling since I woke up. Which is? Cold, weak, pains. And you've not had anything to eat or taken any drug? No, I've not, because I, I thought I'll feel better by now, but it's obviously not happening. Okay, you know what? Are you hungry? Mm -mm, I don't feel like. I'll just get you something to eat. You need to put something in your stomach, okay? Sick is still like planting. That's a lot. Yeah, I know. You need your energy. <laughs> so, I give you planting and a little bit of rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've not had anything yet. That's not enough for energy. <laughs> Keep trying. Yeah. You good? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you look like a baby. <laughs> I'm good. Now relax, you're not. You know, just let's do one more spoon of rice. You want it's fish? Awesome. You, you need energy, and energy comes I'm through food. So just help your immune system fight this. Take some rice. Alright? <laughs> Is that enough? You sure? Okay. You just get better, okay? I'll be in my room in case you need anything. Thank you. You're welcome. You have water here. Are you up? Yeah. Well, I came to check on you earlier and you were snoring. Was I? Yes. Okay, I guess it's the drugs then. My drugs? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how do you feel now? I feel better. A lot better. So my drugs worked after all? Obviously. Only that it made me snore. Well, snoring is good sometimes. <laughs> I hear you. Yes. Thank you. For? Everything. For looking out for me, taking care of Mira, making sure we're okay, the house, everything. I, I can see you cleaned up. <laughs> I like to stay in tidy environment. So, um, what about your sister? I've not seen or heard from her in a while now. She's fine. We've not spoken since the incident. I hope. You're not quarreling with her because of me, because of what she did to me. I mean, I'm well past that now. It's not about you, Daniel. It's about doing the right thing. What she did was wrong. She had no right to make you lose your job simply because you turned down her advances at you. I was wrong. Your sister do. <laughs> She's something else. <laughs> You know, you should consider that massage. I'll pass. No. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I Me, mean, I'm not scared of anything. I, I just don't want it. Okay. 
I should get to your drugs now. Okay, Doc. So that you can snore again. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm fine. How's your temperature? I see you are better. I think the drugs must have worked. I I'm going to um, pick Mira from school. All right. Trying to touch me with semens. from the bed, then I mistakenly pressed it. Let me see it. should go to the hospital. No, he said he's coming. He is not a doctor, Mira. If you go to the hospital, you could check out and see why it's hot and... Mm -hmm. Let's just wait for him. So this might hurt a little bit, okay? Even more. Oh, Sorry. take it easy on my daughter, please. Hold on. Just give it to me. Sorry, sorry. Easy, please. Don't hurt her. Wait, I'm almost done. Just. <clears throat> it's in. It's in now. So check it out. Do this. How does it feel now? Better. It feels mild. You feel better? Thank you. Zara. I don't remember saying there was any. Well, you've been acting cold towards me since yesterday. Oh, really? Am I supposed to jump and dance whenever I see you? No. I thought so.
Who are you? Who are you? Where is Daniel? You have to go and come back later, or perhaps tomorrow, because I'm about to have a very long session with him. Zara, you came back to get something. We need to talk. Now. Daniel, I will not tolerate this thing you're doing in my house. Not anymore. I don't understand. My house is not a brothel. Excuse me. You heard me. Before I met you, I could literally count how many people that came into my house. But now, all I see is different ugly faces in my house. But you're my clients. My house is not a spa. I gave you where to stay, not an office. Wow. I can't believe you just said that. You seem to forget that you were the one who advised me to use my room for my office. Yeah, that, that's because I had no idea the kind of people you did business with. That's fine. I'll leave first thing in the morning. Thank you for housing me. To him. I just said I didn't do anything, okay? I did nothing. You know, Mom. Mira, I did nothing. So the mountain eats. I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier. I let my emotions control me. Emotions? I have a little girl in this house, Daniel. And her safety is my only life's priority right now. I was worried with the way the ladies troop in and out of here. I was worried their attitude might, might affect her. I will never let that happen. I love that girl as if she's my own child. Safety is paramount to me. I know, I, I know that. I'm sorry. It's fine. 
so you stay back, right? Only if you promise this will never happen again. I promise it, it won't. Okay. Thank you. Good yeah. night. Good night. I think I need that massage now. Really? Yeah. Well, in that case, go take a shower while I get a towel. No, we're doing it in my room. I can't share a bed with those girls. Shall we? I'm not sure, please. <laughs> Would you hold my hand? I never let go. Oh. Would you come a bit closer, closer, closer? Won't you let go? At first it started like a dream, but now this is a reality. I don't want to compromise it. You know, I don't know how much we've been into each other. Until the last time we kissed I wanna love you in a special way I wanna love you in a special way Let me love you in a different way Oh, let me love you in a different way no need to run round the circle. I want me and you to settle. Our love started from the cradle. Now we boiling. So, were you angry because you were scared for Mira, or were you angry because you were jealous? Both. After that day, I saw you giving that girl a massage. The way I reacted. I was when I, I knew that falling in love with you, I reacted like, it felt as if you were cheating on me, like we're a couple, <laughs> even though we weren't. <laughs> I take it you're a jealous lover then. <laughs> I mean, if you love someone, you'll be jealous. All right. I enjoyed every bit of the massage, your strokes, was something else, the touch. You're really good at what you do. I feel honored. <laughs> so, is this what this is? Just passion. What do you want, Daniel? I want you. I've always wanted you since I first stepped foot into this house. So now you've had me. What next? I still want you. More of you. Zara, this changes nothing. If anything, it only increases my desire to want to possess you. I'm not a property. Yeah, I know. And I don't mean possess you like a property. I just... I mean, I mean, I just want to wake up knowing that yeah, I'm the only man in your life. Come on. I have a child, Dan. This is the first time you're calling me Dan. <laughs> you don't want to know how many times I've called you Dan in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Mira completes you. I don't think I would have fallen deeply in love with you as I did if she wasn't in the picture. I love Mira as much as I love you. And I'm happy to have both of you in my life. 
Are you sure? A hundred percent. Now you're sounding like Mira. <laughs> An apology keeps the doctor away. <laughs> so I'm bringing you apples because I know you walk a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Why do you walk a lot, though? I walk because I want to make money. Money? Well, why can't you just make the money that is enough for you to take care of your own bills? I want so much more. I don't want enough. I want a lot. Growing up was pretty difficult for Brenda and I. We had nothing. We fought for everything we had. Our brother had to sacrifice his childhood to see us through school. And after we graduated, immediately after we graduated, he died. What happened to him? Cancer. While he was working so hard to see us through school, he was battling cancer. And he kept it away from us. We had no idea. By the time we found out, it was eaten so deep into him. We lost him. So sorry. It's okay. But Daniel. Daniel. If you have the slightest doubt about my daughter and I, you can say it now before this thing we have goes any further. I went through a lot. When Mira's father abandoned me with pregnancy, while I was pregnant with her, it was very difficult for me. Until you came into my life, I had no idea or believed that I would ever get over that heartbreak. And please, I don't want to go back there again. I can't survive such. I am not one to start what I cannot finish. I don't know why your husband left you, but, but if I was to see him now, I would go down on my knees and I would thank him for leaving you for me. I am not leaving you. Not today. Not tomorrow. And not ever. You're back. Mom, Uncle Dan. Hey, how was school, Mira? Fine. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Come on, go change your clothes. Would you hold my hand? I never let go. Oh. Excuse me. Would you come a bit closer, closer? Closer, won't you let go? Baby girl, I'm sorry I didn't come get you from school today, okay? Don't worry, I understand. You have a life away from me. That's not it, young woman. <laughs> I'm not upset, Mom. I'm actually happy for you. You are? Well, Uncle Dan is a good man. And I like him. And I think he likes you too. You think so? I know so. Hmm. So, does that mean you approve? 100%. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. Well, he'll be having daddy duties immediately. Oh my God, Mira. <laughs> <laughs> 
My birthday is in three days' time. You have to take me out. Oh my god, look, wait, you're not the one dishing out orders, right? Okay, time to take off your excuse. Okay. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> It's fine, but don't hurt her or else I'll come for you. I promise. to Brenda. Hey Angel. Happy birthday in advance. Thanks. Brenda. Sarah, come with me. We're dating now. Your what? I like him. <gasps> of course everybody likes him. Brenda, not the way I like him. How different is your like? I love him. <laughs> you love him? Same way you love Ben and he abandoned you. Brenda. Brenda, yes, that's my name. Look, I'm your older sister. And it's my duty to advise you. The thing you're about to start is you walking on dangerous soil. Men like Daniel are not to be loved. They are to be used and dumped. The same way you've been trying to use him and he's been turning you down, right? <sighs> Now look, I know I have not been lucky with men, but that doesn't mean I should stop trying. I am tired of being alone. So it's about boredom. Fine. Since it's about boredom, enjoy him for a few months and discard him. You don't get it, do you? I love him. I want to keep him. Besides, he's been like a father figure to Mira since he moved in. So... What you're trying to say is you're not ending things with him. I'm not. Have a good day. What did they do there? What's it about? You left my time. Eh? What was it about? My angel. Auntie has to go now. Something important came up. Okay. Bye, Auntie. No man has ever rejected me. No man. What did she say? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just leave her. So you were saying? Have a good day at work. Oh, I will. I'm still a minor. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. You'll be good at school, okay? Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Mesuya, so you don't finally make them for this house. You don't finally achieve, you don't finally arrive for us when no concern you. Eh? What do you mean by that? Who, who you they talk to like that? No, why you they come down, they talk to me. Now me, you they come down, they talk to you. Eh? Let's say something they do you. So when you enter this place, you calmly enter, you say, Madam, you won't come touch 
touch anyhow, touch them as you like. You only touch it, you can't touch for this house. I know no say you don't touch, go far. Next thing now, now madam, I can't. I can't balance, now they have your target. But you see you, eh? You know, go succeed. You go try, 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 try. You know, go make you don't they kiss, madam. They do the things where you're not supposed to. Allow what they give you, don't turn them to over allowance. Evil, evil that men do, your own go leave it to you and after you. Shut up. Hmm? You said, wait, wait, you said, John, I said, shut up, listen. John, I said, listen to me. Look, I may be patient and calm. Don't you ever mistake that for me being stupid or timid. The next time you open your mouth to spill such rubbish on me again, what I will do to you, the only gate you'll be opening will probably be the one in your village. Stop, wait. Hey! Nami, you push. So now me this boy won't break my shoulder. <laughs> okay. Make a just make a jelly they go. Because problem don't they come, I don't they see him. They say he who fight and run away. I said they run now. Now he go leave to fight another day. Make a run for you small. Who is that? sister is not here. She left for the office. I am not here for my sister. I'm here for you. Dan, I had a heated conversation with my sister yesterday. And for the first time since Ben left her, I heard her say she's in love with another man. I've always prayed for my sister's happiness. And it would be inhuman of me to be the one to want to take away the only man that she has taken a liking to. So, um, I'm here to say I'm very sorry about everything. And henceforth, I give you my blessings to be with my sister, Zara. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me get us something to toast to this new friendship. to a new friendship. Relax. Mm. Relax, Daniel. But you're stubborn, though. <laughs> well, I had to overcome your advance. You're actually the first man that has overcome my charm. It wasn't easy, <laughs> but it was for the best. Sarah. You know, she's the most beautiful and peaceful woman I've ever met. Peaceful. <laughs> Sarah is a bag of trouble. I'm not this Sarah that I know. Okay. A friendship. <laughs> so tell me.
you're a witch. You know that, right? I told you I was going to get you no matter what, right? And I told you that I would rather be a priest than to have anything to do with you. You have 30 minutes to meet me at Grand Hotel or you know where I'll send these pictures to. You know, I would rather break up with your sister than have anything to do with you. Just know that I will never cheat on her with you. So be it. Swine. How dare you? Leave my house now! You saw the photos? Of course I did. I saw the pictures like hell I did. I talked to you, I spoke to you, I asked you if you are not ready for whatever it is we're having, let me go! But you looked me in the face, you sat back and looked me in the eyes and said all the lies to me, all the lies in the world. Only for you to go back the next minute to sleep and cheat on me with some other person right under my roof. How dare you? How can you be so shameless? Dan, I had a heated conversation with my sister yesterday. And for the first time since Ben left her, I saw her say she's in love with a man. I've always prayed for her to find happiness. And it would be very inhuman of me to want to take away the only man that she has taken a liking to again. So, I want to sincerely apologize for everything. I need you to know that henceforth I have given you my full blessing to be with Sarah. You are the only man that has been able to overcome my charm. You thought you were wise, right? <laughs> that I actually came here to apologize to you. Never. I must have you. I don't care if it means sharing you with Sarah. I must have you. I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I find it shameful that you couldn't recognize your sister. I I couldn't see her face in the picture. Her, her face was covered. I didn't know it was her. But even at that, so you believe that I will cheat on you? What did you expect me to do? What did you expect me to do? Seeing a picture of you and another woman in bed together. What, what, what did you expect me to do? You talk to me. Sarah, you talk to me. Rather than jumping into conclusion based on some pictures that you just saw. For God's sake, Sarah, you are a lawyer, a barrister. Don't you find it suspicious that someone would send pictures of me to you? I'm sorry, I... I wasn't thinking straight. I, I, I promise it will never ever happen again. Forgive me. I'm sorry. This is the second time you're getting angry with me. And on both occasions, you've told me to pack my things and leave your house. I find that disturbing. I said I'm sorry, and I promise and swear it will never ever happen again. Please forgive me. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I hit you. I shouldn't have. <sighs> Thanks for fucking. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told you I was going to get you no matter what, right? Right now, it's me talking. Look, it's so shameful and embarrassing that this is coming from you. A married woman like you had to go all the way to do this to me to think that you're my sister my own blood Brenda the next time you try this I will not hesitate to report you to your husband I'm sorry 
Afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. Hey! This boy don't succeed, though. You see? They play, play, play. This boy don't succeed for this house. Hey! What cast it go? You don't cast it totally. I need my own car henceforth because I can't work on when you two are together and it seems like you two are going to be together for a long while. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Sorry, I couldn't come get you. <laughs> and hope we'll get a ride in your car when you get it. <laughs> Young driver. <laughs> Would you hold my hand? I never let go, oh. Would you come a bit closer, closer, closer? Won't you let go? At first it started like a dream, but now this is a reality. I don't wanna compromise it. You know, I don't know how much we've been into each other until the last time we kissed. I want to love you in a special way. I want to love you in a special way. Let me love you in a different way. Oh. Let me love you in a different way. No need to run around the circle. I want me and you to settle. Our love started from the cradle. Now it's boiling like the water in the kettle. Ah, this is our reality now. At first it started like a dream, but now this is a reality. I don't want to compromise it. You know, I don't know how much we've been into each other until the last time we kissed. I want to love you in a special way. I wanna love you in a special way. Let me love you in a different way. Oh, let me love you in a different way.